Hey everyone, Boone here. Welcome back to another episode of Tuesday Tools. In this week's episode, I'm taking a closer look at the Whipster Review Panel plugin. So to use this tool, you're gonna to need a Whipster account. If you wanna get one for free, just follow my link in the video description. Whipster stands for work in progress, and it really helps with the post-production process, whether you're doing reviews with clients or you're collaborating with other creators. Now this works in both Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. And if you remember just a few months back, I did a full on review of the Whipster service. But the really cool thing about this plugin is you can do everything you need within these programs if you have the plugin. You don't need to go to a browser and upload things directly to Whipster's cloud service. Now to show you how to use this plugin, I'm gonna break it down into four very easy steps. All right, step one, getting set up. The first thing you're gonna need is a Whipster account. Like I said before, if you wanna get a free account, just follow that link in the video description. Once your account is all set up, you can head on over to Adobe Exchange to download the plugin. Again, I'll leave a link for that in the video description. Step two, I'm gonna share my content. Okay, I'm inside of Adobe After Effects, and in this example, I have a simple intro animation that I wanna send over to a client for approval. So once installed, I'm gonna open up the panel by going to Window, Extensions, Whipster Review Panel. With the panel open, I'll first log into my Whipster account. And again, with the review panel, I'm not gonna to need to go to Whipster's website at all. Everything can be accomplished right here in the panel. So first, I'll create a new folder. Since my animation is ready to go, it's as simple as clicking the Upload Composition button. So just prior to uploading, I have the option to name the comp. I'm gonna select a location and I'll choose the render quality. Now there's a More Options section down here. I'm gonna click on the Share Video After Upload button. This will bring up all of the share settings where I can add an approval button, disable or enable downloads and commenting, and even add password protection. Now once customized, I'll send out the email invites with an included message. Now the cool thing is this is all automated. Once I click the button, it's gonna first export it from Adobe After Effects, then it's gonna automatically upload it to Whipster and then send out those emails. Step three, feedback. When my collaborator receives the email, they're gonna see a 45 second tutorial that's gonna show them how to leave comments and navigate the Whipster interface. Now it's really as simple as clicking on the screen and typing. My viewer can click and drag to highlight an area and comments are saved at the respective time codes. And now, as long as I'm connected to the internet, these viewer comments will immediately populate in the Whipster review panel inside of Adobe After Effects. And with the comments now available, I can resync them with my original comp, which will add labeled markers to the composition. Now clicking on any of these comment boxes in the review panel is now gonna instantly bring my time indicator directly to where the viewer left the corresponding comment. I can reply to the comment, and when I'm finished making the revisions, I can simply mark it as complete. Now the really cool thing about this inside of Adobe Premiere Pro is that I have a markers panel. So if I go to Window Markers, this is gonna bring up this panel which gives me a bird's eye view of all of this feedback and allows me to quickly navigate and jump between these comments. Step four, revise and finalize. So now once I've made all the necessary revisions, there's a large gray button down here giving me the option to upload a new version. So once this new version is uploaded, both the viewer and I will quickly be able to switch between both versions if we so desire. I can also resync the composition back to an earlier version or simply unsync everything. Now, once the viewer is happy, they can press that approve button. So there you have it. That's how the Whipster review panel works. If you want to check out more about Whipster and sign up for a free account, once again, follow my link in the video description. And if you like this tutorial, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next week.